We go. Hey, Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Waha, Raha, Radash. Double honors to the Apostle of the Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to Yaaki and pushing his word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, we're out here um, at camp. We want to do a, a quick hit on the, you know, on the side here. We got the main camp going on over here to the left of us. And, you know, just through the spirit, we just wanted to uh, bring in a quick word going into the word, the reward that we we're longing to endure, that we're enduring to receive. And the Lord is setting it up for us to receive that reward. So I wanted to just do a quick hit. Uh, I want to jump right into it. This is Sirach, Ecclesiastes 2. And I'm going to start at verse uh, 7. It says, Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy, and go not aside, lest ye fail. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail, all right? And we gotta have that faith, all right? Because what is faith? That's a substance that uh, basically is not seen, all right? And, but we do have that faith because we know the things that are coming. Now, how do we uh, become a faith base by our believers? Because what? The prophecy that we've seen that already come to pass, all right? Through the scriptures. And now we're seeing the prophecy now that are actually manifesting as we speak, you know? And the Lord has built us up to have that belief and have that fear. All right, and the fear of the Lord is what the beginning of wisdom. All right, and what do you say? With that reward, it shall not fail. All right, and when you receive a reward, that's for what earning something that what like a something that you accomplish. All right, or something that you you you've won. All right, and the elect is going to receive that because, like it says, the elect is going to attain it, but the elect have not. I mean, uh, but the rest have not obtained it. All right. And if you read up in the chapter, it says basically we're going through that, that trying period and gold is tried in the fire, all right? And like you say, believe in him, all right? And who do we believe in? Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, being Yahweh, being the father, meaning he is, and Yahweh Shai, meaning he is the deliverer, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, all right? But it was, he didn't have a Greek name. His, his, his name was what? In Hebrew, because he was what? A Hebrew. You can read uh, going into Hebrews 7 and Hebrews 8 is, uh, into that, all right? And that's who he la laid his life down for, is the men that he said in John uh, 17, where he says, they are thine and thine are mine, all right? So the Lord said he's going to deliver them, all right? And uh, I'm going to oh, go yeah. ahead. That, that, that also is, that also is what he showed us the greatest love. The scriptures say, Greater love have any man in this that a man lay down his life for his friends. So Yahweh Shah did that and we reciprocate that. Now the faith that the brother is going into, again, another way you build that up is referring back to the scriptures. Reading, doing lessons, actually staying, you know, uh, uh, keeping yourself surrounded with the things of Yahweh Shah. All right? I want to read this precept for you. When you go to 1 Maccabees 2, you start at 50 on down, uh, he, he's giving a speech to his sons. All right, to be zealous for the things of their fathers. But what he does in this speech, where as they're getting ready to go to war and you know maintain their culture, he starts to refer back to all their forefathers and to say, look at this impossible situation this man was in, this man was in, this man was in. And the Lord got them out of all of it. And that, and that built them their courage up to step out on that faith. We're about to enter a situation where this devil is gonna make it impossible for people to resist him, but the elect are gonna resist. All right, so I'm just gonna read three verses out of this chapter. All right, I'm gonna read 50 and I'm gonna jump down. This uh, First Maccabees 2 and 50, it says, now therefore my sons, be zealous for the law and give your lives, all right? Greatest love, we mentioned that. That a man get, lay down his life for his friends, all right? Be zealous for the law and give your lives for the covenant of your fathers call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time so shall you receive great honor and an everlasting name was not Abraham found faithful in temptation and it was imputed unto him for righteousness and it goes down all our forefathers and he jumped to 61 it says and thus consider throughout all ages that none that put their trust in him shall be overcome fear not the words of a sinful man and we know the man of sin is getting ready to come upon us for his glory shall be dung and worms today he shall be lifted up and tomorrow he shall not be found. Just wanted to read that for you, brother. Back you up. Here you go. Yeah. Like I say, today we will be, and we're going to be lifted up in what? In those last days. That's what it says in uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5. They're going to see the strangers of our coming. 
Now you have some Israelite sets that might say we're in the new covenant, new covenant as we see, but no, we're, this is what we're going. That's when we see the accomplishment when we actually get in that new covenant, and we're going to receive that when what Yahweh Shai comes and, uh, and basically bring that reward. And I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Um, this is Revelations 22 and I'm going to start at verse 11 it says he that is unjust let him be unjust still and he which is filthy let him be filthy still and he that is righteous let him be righteous still and be and he that is holy let him be holy still and behold I come quickly my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be all right, so the, the deeds you have done, all right, for the Lord, that's what your reward is going to be. The Lord, like I say, everyone is going to be judged, all right? But the elect, as it says in Colossians 2, the Lord had, uh, their uh, sins were nailed, nailed upon the cross with the Yahweh how, how shot, all right? But do that mean we're supposed to uh, just lay back and just do what we want? No, we're supposed to rehearse the righteous acts, all right? We're supposed to constantly... Uh, do uh, basically walk in the law, statute, and commandments to the best of our ability and wait for that reward. What's that, uh, Sirach uh, 17, a uh, fin less? Mm hmm. All right. You know where that's at? Let me I'm see. Gonna, I'll, get it, I'll here. get it for you if you don't. If you got it. Um. Just it on that. Uh. I guess. Right. So the difference between the elect. I got it. Okay. Okay, you got it. Huh, this is Sirach 17 and 25. It says, Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. Alright. So when the scriptures talk about, you know, the elect, they're gonna be rehearsing the righteous acts, they're gonna offend less. So yeah, that doesn't say that they're gonna they're not gonna offend at all, mm -hmm. right? But because they're trying and they're taking the steps towards the Lord, they're using their grace period, which we're in, to, you know, again, mold themselves into little versions of Yahweh Shower. Really, the Lord's molding us. Yes. You understand? So even though we were fucking up too, <laughs> the Lord, the Lord's gonna be like, you know what, nah, they good. You understand? Because we actually were trying to take those steps toward him. Our daily sacrifices, you know, which is how you spend your time. Right. We were th we had the Lord on our mind. We were trying to get right. You motherfuckers ain't trying to do a goddamn thing but gratify your flesh. Yeah. So it's two thirds of our people and majority of the masses, man. Look, they just gonna be they're not gonna they're gonna be without excuse. Right. They're not gonna be pardoned. They're not gonna have an alibi. You understand? That you should be driven by that fear. Like, look, Lord, when he come back, he ain't playing. And he told me there's one way that I could be out of the way. Zechariah, uh, Zephaniah two and three: Seek righteousness, seek meekness, so you may be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. You know? Yeah. I you can get a uh, 26 for it. Uh, you want me to read it for you? Uh, well, this is uh, off of Sirach 17. You want me to read it for you? Okay. Okay, it's uh, Sirach 17 and 24. But unto them that repent, he granted them return and comforted those that failed in patience. He, he the ones that repent. You know, and how do you repent? Some, some, somebody, like I said, you have certain, uh, these these church, uh, these Christians, you know what I'm saying? These anti-Messiah, the Antichrist, anti you know, that we're calling them now, you know, because they are. Cause they're not with Yahweh Shai, you know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They don't. They over say they repented, but no, we supposed to re uh, have that re renew that new man, that man every day. We supposed to become a new creature. Become a new creature, constantly. All right. So we and not even for our uh, lives for today, but even our past lives. See, and you, they don't understand reincarnation and things like that, you know. But we're supposed to constantly repent, uh, repent. You know what I'm saying? And pray without ceasing, as the scriptures say. Continuing on, verse 25, return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins, make thy prayer before his face and offend less. less. We're supposed to be offending less. And how is that? By stepping away from this world because this world is full of iniquity. All right, you cannot constantly do the same old uh, sin upon sin that becomes iniquity. You're supposed to offend less, yep. all right? The sins you did today, you're supposed to uh, basically offend less by not doing it tomorrow. Are you saying you're gonna be a per walking perfect? No. I'm not saying that, but what we're saying is we're supposed to work on yourself, all right? Work on that new man, all right? Because once you go back and fall into that sin, because it says in Ecclesiastes, why, uh, 
Ecclesiastes, the wild man falls seven times, mm -hmm. all right? But, um, but what is it, a wicked man will slump, basically rough repair flames, will basically uh, slumber in his, in his wickedness. Yeah, he, he don't feel bad about the shit he's doing. Oh. He's sleeping with Mr. Jones' wife. He, I was still that he song. about it. Hello, Mrs. Jones. Me and Mrs. Yeah, Jones got, got a thing, thing going on. Go. Like, nigga. You wrong. You wrong. You supposed to be put to death for that. Mm -hmm. But a nigga will glory in, the, in those abominable behaviors. When the scriptures in Psalms 32 and 18, the Lord says he's nigh to them of a broken and contrite spirit. Right. You see, we fuck up too. Not as much as the average person. Right. Because, you know, we, we know what the hell's right and wrong. They don't know what's right from wrong. Exactly. But we feel bad. We we know we need a savior. We're, we're trying to do better. We're, 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 we're fighting. You're hating sin because you're a right. new man. You see your son, he out there, you know, the little boys want to fight him. You be like, all right, now go out there and fight. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? He's telling you, you better not lose, right? You yeah. might tell him that. <laughs> but you really just want him to show that he's he's not a coward. He's going to fight. He's going right. to get in there and push. Right. You know, to not to not be conquered. And we're not, the Lord don't want to see us let the flesh conquer us. Mm -hmm. We're fighting. These people, they're not, they're not resisting it. They're nope. not resisting the desires of the flesh. That's why they're gonna receive that MOT to the beat, because they're not they're not gonna receive, they're gonna give in to it. Yeah. Alright, because they're not prepping themselves spiritually. It's just like Deuteronomy 22. Mm -hmm. The woman she she didn't cry out. She didn't cry. So she get put to death with the exactly. guy. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah, and that's what's gonna happen to the two-thirds of Israel. Yeah. That's it. That's all that's, that's all I had to say. Hey, hey, you know, like I say, it was just gonna be a quick hit. Hey, Lord willing, this was edifying. We'd like to give all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to Yaki and pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. That's it, man. Yeah. Let's go.